the hardest part uh, was also the fact that I was young. And a lot of people honestly didn't trust me at first. And that was some adversity that I had to, you know, deal with, um, you know, and, and uh, kind of, you know, you needed some self-confidence too to help people. I mean, a lot, I, mean, I didn't even, I was just, uh, you know, 18, 19 years old and, you know, I was helping people that were, you know, double my age. Welcome to Let's Talk Real. We are here with Dennis Foman of Boise, Idaho, superstar realtor, team leader. Uh, tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from. Yeah, so my name is Dennis Foman. I'm from Boise, Idaho. Um, originally was born in Sacramento, California. Moved uh, out to Boise when I was uh, about, when I was nine, 10 years old. Um, got into real estate right after high school and just uh, um, I went to college for a little bit, dropped out and just kind of took a different route. And uh, never look back. So then, so what? So what made you say? I mean, you know, fresh yeah. out of high school, that because I I got my license when I was eighteen. Okay. Uh, what yeah. What made you say? I think I want to try real estate. So I think it was you know it was a few things. I was going to school for business and um, just uh, I don't know. I was uh, unfortunately my 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 dad was in some uh, uh, circumstances with a short sale, um, and I was kind of you know help sitting there with the realtor walking him through and uh, or not walking him through, excuse me, but just kind of listening to okay. him walk through my dad. And, and I kind of just, uh, I kind of just liked it. And so, um, I just looked into it a little bit and decided to, you know, just pursue that. So, okay. um, it was, it, it was, it had to do with business, but also kind of, you know, had some other flexibilities in it that, well, that's what I thought at least. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on how you look at it. Yeah. It's flexible. Like, like a stiff board, right? Yeah. <laughs> So you you're right. So you're right. You go in at not. You stroll in at nine thirty ten. You leave at one thirty two. That kind of business. Yeah. Like oh, hopefully, hopefully for two appointments. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. So okay. So you you get into real estate. Yeah. Um, you know, fresh out of the gate. You know, you're a young whippersnapper. How, what was that first year like? Uh, it was rough. So I was I was part time. I was working. Um, I was working construction. Then I went to a warehouse job. Um, just trying to really go full time. Right. It took me a while. At the same time, I was buying a house, so I couldn't just leave that job because then I wouldn't be able to purchase for a few years, um, just with solely with the the real estate income. And um, I think uh, I think the the hardest part uh, was also the fact that I was young, and a lot of people honestly didn't trust me at first, and that was some adversity that I had to you know deal with, um, you know, and and uh, kind of you know you needed some self confidence too to help people. I mean. A lot I, mean, I didn't even I was just uh you know 18 19 years old and you know I was helping people that were you know double my age you're still I you're 18 19 now <laughs> you're just all right I know so I know you if it was like how it was when I was that age you yeah. you know 18 but you look 13. I mean right and that that's that was the challenge I had yeah. so I bet you know you, you look like you look good for your age so you look like you might have asked for that same <laughs> yeah. that same challenge so yeah with, sure so people how did it work people are you are you are you buying online leads? How are you meeting? How are you getting your business? So that was actually you know um, I didn't have a lot of support from my sphere at first, um, and so I was actually buying. I went fifty fifty with my lender at the time. We went on Zillow, Realtor dot com. Okay, um, and that was actually my probably my first few years. And then those people became, um, you know, I started getting you know just word of mouth referrals, and that was probably uh, you know I was able to die down my marketing budget, and that kind of really changed my business. Okay. Yeah. So I was watching a lot of Tom Ferry too, um, and uh, and you know found out some other pillars that really helped me as well. All right. So you so you so you sound like you invest a little bit into yeah. your education and yeah, and then and investing in coaching. So you, so you've been in business now what, in like eight nine years now. Yeah. And this twenty twenty three will be my ninth year in business. Yeah. Ninth year, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Man, that's that's awesome. So what? And so first year, it's um struggle bus, right? I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're trying to figure it out. We're throwing stuff on the wall or we're, we're doing different things you're you know uh, a younger person and and so your immediate sphere your friends may not be of the same mindset with you saying you're trying to buy a house right you know so you're right. buying a house that you're already at way ahead yeah. you know where the yeah where you need to be and and sometimes getting our friends to be on that same page like hey guys you guys need to buy a house <laughs> that's not as not as um not as as attractive to talk about as the game or 
yeah. something else. Yeah. So how how did uh, were you able to get any of your friends in in those early years to get on the same kind of pathway you as far you as know, investing? No, there really wasn't. Uh, unfortunately, no, not really. It was. I mean, everybody, you know, there was a desirability, but but no, nobody was taking actions at that point. And uh, um, sure, I still feel like it might be like that now. <laughs> right. What? So how, how old were you when you when you actually went to close on that first house? Uh, so it was November uh, 2014. So I was 19. So you're 19 years old, bought your first house. That's yeah. awesome. I wish I bought, bought my first house at 19. Yeah. So then, and 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 if you don't mind sharing, yeah. What 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 did you pay for that house, and what is it worth now? So I bought it for 168,000 and um, it's worth about 400 right now. Yeah. Not bad. No, yeah, I retired. Not bad at all. Right. So <laughs> now it's right. 19. So you, you know, 20, so you're, so that's like almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Eight, nine, eight, nine years ago. Yeah. And you're buying a house, 168 worth 400 and now you're probably, oh, 140 or I mean, much oh, yeah. less than that. Yeah. One, so you got, you know, like a few hundred, a quarter million dollars. Exactly. Equity. Yeah. There's no, um, I mean, it's easy. I'm biased, right? And you're yeah. probably biased as yeah. well. But I, I don't know of any other investments right. with whatever you would have put down to get in the door. Maybe ten grand, right? You know, I don't know what what was your. Do you yeah. remember what your out of pocket uh, was? My out of pocket, I think it was in the, um, I think it was like in the low teens. With the, I think our our down payment was uh, uh, probably a, a few thousand with the first time home buyer, and then we had some close, you know, the closing yeah. costs. Yeah. So probably eleven thousand. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, eleven, twelve thousand dollar investment. Yeah. Nine years ago can can turn yeah. into a quarter million dollars. Yeah. That you could cash in at any time. Right. If, you, if you wanted to. Yeah. If you wanted right. to. Right. So. Absolutely. So, uh, yes, that that is. If no, we can we can cut. We can stop right here. Lesson learned. <laughs> You'll do what Dennis did and and uh, invest by your by your first house at a young age and or whatever age you are, you know. But no, that's that's pretty cool, super cool. Yeah. So then, how did your your at what point did you did you switch over and decide you know what I want to do real estate full time and give up that that other job? Yeah. So for me, it was just um, you know I was probably a little bit of an overthinker, and so because of that house too, I was just like you know I I uh, I, I need to have six nine months of like mortgage payment saved up before because because I was kind of worried like the market we were in 2014 15 we were. That, that's technically just coming out of the recession. The market wasn't what it is over the last few years. And so um, I was I was a little bit worried, but that was, I did, I just saved up some money. And from there I was like, you know, I'm gonna take that leap. And I finally, I finally did it. And that was the best decision I personally, if you know, I can give someone else advice on that, I would, I would have done it sooner. Okay. I would tell someone to take that risk and do it sooner and go all in um, a lot sooner than I did. Okay, yeah. so then, so you're full time now by 21, 22. Yeah, yeah. And and you're you got some momentum f from the early days, and and you said you're and you were doing what five six million dollars in production a yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. For, I mean, so you're you're putting food on the table. Yeah, for you're sure. able to you're able to put some food on the table. Yeah. Okay, and what and so and now we're you know 2023. You you you've been in coaching. And, yeah. and 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 professional development, personal development for yeah. Years. How has how has that? It's been changed your business. It's it's the accountability aspect that you know the coach that you're talking to with a coach every single every single week, and just he's pushing you, he's helping you with your challenges. I mean, it's just the uh, the growth and and just the it's just exponential what ended up happening from where I was in 2018, 19, going into those next few years. Um, you know, really. Uh, really helped me. It's it's you know, and I still I think I think it's also great just uh, meeting so many great agents too. Mm -hmm. You know, like yourself. Yeah, networking. You know, yeah, networking, yeah. going to events, and yeah, yeah, and and get, and aligning yourself with other like minded individuals. Yeah, that want, exactly. They want, want to well. excel in their craft. Yes, you know, whatever that craft is. This you know, yeah. Sometimes it's real estate. Sometimes it's yeah. You know, it can be lender. It can be title. It could be hair salon. Beauty salon, barbershop, you know, whatever that business is. Yeah. Um, aligning yourself with like minded individuals is important. Yeah. So yeah. Like like Napoleon Hill said, right? Yeah. <laughs> so look, what do you what do you like to do outside of when you're not working your full time job as a real estate professional yeah. and your part time job as a real estate professional? <laughs> what do you like to do? Um my one of my favorite things to do is fly fish. Okay. So yeah. Um I probably I probably take a little too much time off, you know, finding a little creek or something, go to the backwoods and fly fishing. That's probably one of my yeah. I didn't know. Fi is it, I didn't know that was very popular in Boise. Yeah. Do you yeah. have the? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have. I mean, we uh, we have the Boise River that flows right through our city. But I mean, there's just within 
two or three hours, there are some um, amazing fisheries. Yeah, some world class fly fishing. Okay, yeah. I had no idea. You yeah. got some friends that, that fly fish, but yeah, um, yeah. No, I know they they were you know from Florida and you know other parts on the East Coast. Yeah, you know popular. So that's, that's yeah. I'm actually going to go next week down to the Keys and do some saltwater fly fishing. Okay, so, so you're a pro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have sponsors? No, oh, no, 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 no. I love it. It is just something that you know being you know you're standing in the water and just it, it is just such a peaceful experience, you know, and then. Um, you have wildlife crossing, you know, you, you, I was, I was in Utah last year, bald eagles flying over you. They're catching more fish than you on the left and right side of just soaring down and just, you know, pulling out bigger fish than you can catch. I've seen, <laughs> I, I don't even know that. I mean, it's, I've seen that before. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. It is amazing how yeah. they actually can time it up and, and, and snatch it right out. Like the, yeah, it's, yeah. um, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And probably you, you catch that on video. Um, no, I didn't. It happens too fast. I tried to catch and get some pictures and whatnot once, but it, it didn't turn out good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so when, when, um, you know, and I know you've got a, you know, a, a, a you, it sounds like you, I mean, you did, every, you did everything right. You, you, I wouldn't say it yourself. All right. All right. Everything was perfect. Right. And that's what we're getting to. Yeah. I know that everything was not, you know, people, a lot of times they see the finished product. They see For sure. what you were, yeah. how much they're like, oh, yeah. you, you just got lucky and bought your house when you did. Yeah. Um, you know, I wish I, if, if, you know, you, or you only did that because you're in real estate, you had an inside track. Yeah. You had some crystal ball that told you yeah, by exactly. now. Right. So that's why you got a quarter million dollars now. <laughs> someone else may not have what, um, but the, I'm sure that there were some times of challenge. Oh yeah. You know, and we all have times of challenge. Some, some of us are, are living in current times of challenge. Absolutely. Is there, do you have a, do you have a, 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 a something you want to share of a, either a business challenge or personal challenge and how you either overcame it or how you, so it could be something that you're even working through now. Yeah. Something that, you know, uh, that's challenging that uh, it's always been kind of challenging for me in, 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 uh, real estate, my business just was, um, real estate's one of those businesses that, you know, if you do have personal things going on in your life, you know, people, people see it, people can really, um, you know, you're not, you're not, if you're not a hundred percent, it's sometimes it's challenging to, uh, be in a face forward business like that, you know, and, um, you know, one of the challenges that I experienced like in 2021 was, um, I lost my dad and that was just, that was something that over the next, you know, three, four or five months was just, uh, it was, it was just overwhelming for me. And so, uh, you know, and, and I, unfortunately my business did suffer, but it's something that, um, uh, it was hard for me to keep, keep going, but you know, that's something that this organization too was able and, and my, my, uh, that network was able to, you know, help me with and, and, uh, and, uh, get back to, get back to, uh, you know, focusing on things day to day and just really, uh, you know, um, striving for success too. You know? Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. And I'm, and I am and, yeah. and sure, um, I mean, it sounded like you were, you and your dad were very close to the, did you guys go fly fishing together? No, actually, we, we he never fly fished just regular, tra just, just traditional fishing. Yeah. Has he never, did he get you into it in the beginning with? Uh, fishing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I kind of moved into fly fishing instead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. And so, yeah, that that's super cool. So I'm sorry yeah. about you. Yeah. yeah no, I lost no. my, my dad in 2011, so 10 years yeah. before. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's 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 tough, especially when you're yeah. close with your. I think, I think so. I think for the most part, just like that, that it was kind of a mental challenge for me. And uh, it was something that I had to persevere through and just kind of really, uh, you know, focus in on kind of, you know, dealing with that, but also, um, you know, focusing still on my livelihood. You know? Yeah. Because you still have to, at the end of the day, you have to put right on the table. You've got the exactly. family that depends on you. You've yeah. got clients yeah, that yeah. depend on you. Exactly. To, you know, you, you, they don't want to, yeah, you know, the clients, as we know, I mean, they're, they're, they, you know, can appreciate our adversity. Yeah. But. They still want their stuff done. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we yeah. have to oftentimes as small business owners put our, our, you know, try our best to put our personal issues to the side. Exactly. And still keep our game face on and, yeah. and, and be on, on stage, yeah. so to speak, for the client. Yeah. And so what others say so you got the, you got your, the, the ecosystem and, and your, your coaches that help push you through. Um, and you're, 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 you're working out. You're, you're, yeah. Fitness I'm trying to warn you. Yeah, we spoke this morning. You were you were leaving the gym. Yeah, earlier. Really, I'm trying to. I'm trying to uh, get back on that consistency and get my you know my health back together. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. all I think it all works together. You yeah, know, the yeah. the um at least for me when I'm 
you know, when I'm, and I'm not in right now, but when I'm exercising on a consistent basis, yeah. you know, I, cause I, I normally don't listen to music. Okay. So it's just me and my thoughts. Yeah. But you, you get, a, you get a lot of, um, uh, you know, you can really think about a, a lot of things yeah. that you, that the, this, that the world we live in is so, there's so much noise, so much interference all the time, so much stimulation. Right. We're on the phone. Over- we just have to, yeah, that um, sometimes when you're out running, all you have to do is worry about making sure your shoes stay tied <laughs> and the thoughts in your head. Yeah. And and there's yeah. really no other distractions. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, good stuff. So, um, so we're, we're doing fly fishing. Yeah. And, yeah. and you've, you've overcome some, overcome some adversity. So, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you see your business and say the next next three to five years where how do you see yourself growing so three to five years i'd probably say uh, my goal is to start establishing um i was I start establishing a small team um uh, and uh and and my goal would be to basically at the end of that five years is kind of actually step away just a tiny bit and focus more on the investing side okay. do some little infill development um uh Get some Airbnbs going. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And Disney World. yeah. That's right. That's right. I I have one right now in a resort close to um, my hometown, and it's a. Uh, I'd love to definitely you know for, uh, pursue that and get a few more. Okay, so yeah. you already already an investor, home yeah. owner, investor. Yeah, I yeah yeah. I'm selling. I I bought a coffee shop a few years ago too. I'm selling that right now. Man, so <laughs> coffee. So you ordered got a better brick and mortar. Yeah. Right, how was that? Did you work? Did you go there, or was it already functional? So it it was actually start. It started in 1993, um, and I bought it in 2016, and uh, just uh, as some as passive income, ho- hoping for passive income, mm-hmm. and it was um, it was not. It was like, not right. <laughs> So, right. Yeah. yeah. Did so, you have a, Did you have a, a background or history in your comp? No. So my girlfriend did. Okay. And uh, she actually she she ended up working there, and so that's how we heard about it. Okay. And um, so she had the experience, so it was. Okay. Like, yeah. It seemed perfect. like yeah. So she was the manager. Yeah. She yeah. So it was like yeah, exactly. So it's like all right, we'll we'll just take over. We know exactly how to. But the business side, it was it was tough, and so we purchased it together, and within a few months we didn't realize this we, it just wasn't disclosed um there was a there was there was gonna be a median put in um right where that you know the closest intersections were so people couldn't like easily cross people couldn't take a left turn in or out or yeah or out so so i, I think for our the business to struggle so yeah so you it. only got business from the right side of the street then yeah people that only if you're yeah. on the right they could turn in yeah otherwise yeah. it was wasn't worth other, they would just find another otherwise yeah otherwise they'd have to basically go around it take about another five seven with you know depending on in the mornings it could be like 10 to 15 minutes to go all the way around to reach this freeway exit you know the highway and and so it's kind of it kind of became a hassle and um business was struggling for a while so that was uh that was pretty stressful <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, so you're taking your your good real estate money and yes. dumping it into yes. the coffee, which wasn't supposed to be. Right. That wasn't. We do, <laughs> we do that often. Take good money yeah. and throw it after <laughs> bad. Chase. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then you know, to be frank, it's just a, uh, it, you know, in the employees and and just the uh, the adversity in the products and having to like he like throughout um the last two years i mean materials it was just so hard to get plastic the like cups or just paper goods right it was just so we we had a source from probably 14 15 different vendors to get cups at one point you know it was just it was just and cups are probably i would guess pretty important in a copy business yeah <laughs> it's just like yeah. no people just, just yeah <laughs> like slurp it out of their hands yeah right? yeah uh <laughs> might be a little it, little temperatures yeah yeah it might be hot we might get in trouble it's liability yeah. <laughs> uh, you might need good insurance for that one <laughs> but uh anyway so it's just um um so so it's 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 a good chapter to close it's a good experience mm-hmm. um and uh but i i, I want to pursue real, more real property that's my goal so i will i will continue like you know as i was saying over the next three to five years it'll just be you know hoping to purchase one to two uh uh long-term rentals or maybe some short term yeah yeah so yeah. yeah we sometimes as um as 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 small business owners regardless of the business when we when we kind of get better at our craft and then you know maybe there's some extra cash coming in then we get that same entrepreneurial seizure mm-hmm. like the e-myth like michael gerber describes and then we say oh over here shiny object oh over here <laughs> try this. Yeah. i can do these yeah. things yeah but i think we don't realize the 
the toll that that takes on our core business. Yes. And yeah. so sometimes, even when those businesses are successful, um, when that's 50 50, right? Right. And even when it yeah. is, it's yeah. still taken away. Like I've opportunity noticed. Opportunity cost. Right. Opportunity yeah. cost. When you're doing, you're, and a real estate agent gets into doing flips, now they're spending more time at Home Depot, oh, yeah. back and forth to the store, yeah. meeting yeah. the contractors, critiquing yeah. stuff, less time nurturing their database, right? doing their core business. Wait, to get them where they were. You right. Know, the, in the first place. The yeah. production drops. Yeah. And, yeah. and so we see that all the time. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes we. That we, is something I'm excited about, though. You know, with closing that chapter, you know, it's, I, I just look at, all right, well, how many more hours am I going to be able to sort of focus back on my real estate business or the potential, you know, exactly, you know, the potential purchases of an, uh, uh, rental property, you know, just kind of studying different markets and whatnot. So no, yeah. I'm excited for that part. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dumping back in and those, yeah. that's going to be your long-term investment. Exactly. You know, um, so. Yeah, closing, hands off too. Right. right. Closing, no, no employees, yeah. no cup. Yeah, not oh, looking for cups at two in right. the morning. Where are we gonna have? How are we gonna, we gonna have cups? cups? You're right. And worst case scenario, you're at Walmart. You're buying a bunch of or, or Costco. Same. Yeah. Buying yeah. a bunch of cu- yeah. boxes of cups at you know ten times the price. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. That yeah. would make it cost more to, to sell the coffee. Like you're losing two yeah. cents with every. Right. Right. <laughs> so all right. Well, that's good stuff. So oh, quote of the day. I mean, I yeah. Quote of the day. Okay. Quote of the day. The journey is never ending. There's always going to be growth, improvement, adversity. You just got to take it all in and do what's right. Continue to grow. Continue to live in the moment. Antonio Brown. What do you Antonio think about that? Brown. <laughs> what do you think about that? I love it. I love it. You know, he. Uh, yeah, I feel like he's been. I don't know. He's he's created some of his own adversity over yep. the last you know little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's, had, he's had some adversity. Yeah. The thing is, we yeah. we all have. I mean, at the end of the day. We all have adversity. Yes. Right. Yeah. No. It, it, and um. And anyone. I mean, there isn't anyone. But even if there were someone that who didn't who had no adversity, if they skinned their knee, they would probably fall out on the ground and 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 pass out. Just do you understand? Know because no, they're not be... battle tested. Like the yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the lesson is really learned in the journey of adversity. Mm-hmm. When things become easy, you see it with with you see it in sports. You know, when an athlete, you know, maybe they're all county, all state, then they go. Then, but once they get to high school. You know, then oh, it's a lot more competition. Then if right. they get to college, right? They now they're D three. They they were the best in their in their town, right? But on the college team, they might have yeah. they, they're on they're they might not even be able to walk on, right? Exactly. You know, and so that adversity helps it in that journey, and then just builds you up, makes you stronger. Yeah, makes you stronger. Because one thing I can promise is that we're always going to have more adversity. Yeah, we're always going to have more challenge. Yeah, and how we respond is 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 what's going to make the person. Mm-hmm. Make the present. So, all right, awesome. So, if you if if we're in Boise, if someone wanted to, you know, buy a house, yeah, then they'll sell a house in Boise. Maybe you know, talk to you about joining your team. How will we reach you? So, you could find me at Dennis underscore uh, Foman underscore Realtor on Instagram, or uh, you know, you could call me or text me directly at two zero eight three seven one nine zero nine nine. I'd be happy to talk to anyone. Awesome. So that's Dennis underscore D E N N I S underscore Foman F O. M-I-N, M-I-N yep. underscore realtor. Realtor. Yeah. At, I missed it. Oh, that's it. That's your, that's, that's my G. Yeah. That's okay. My, okay. Yeah. Okay. Dennis <laughs> underscore Foman underscore realtor. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Reach out to this man on IG. You got his number two. If you're in Boise. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thanks for joining, man. Yeah.